He always was in the shadow of his more successful brother, and people don't really know his life story. But let me tell you that Luigi doesn't have a boring life. He almost ended up not having a life at all at first, because when Luigi and Mario were babies, there was a big accident with the stork that was supposed to bring them to their parents. The bird got attacked by a baddie named Kamek and was captured. If you watch my Yoshi Secret Story video, you know that Mario ended up falling on Yoshi's island, but while that was happening, our poor boy Luigi was stuck in Bowser's castle awaiting rescue. During that time, there is something that was never told. Mario cried a lot during his adventures, but Luigi never said a single word. He patiently awaited to be rescued by Yoshi. And that takes some serious balls. I mean, if I were a baby kidnapped by a little dinosaur, I would cry like crazy. In truth, Luigi was not your typical baby. Already at his young age, he always wanted to push the boundary of what he could do. Usually you're supposed to be like 16 years old to start driving a car, but Luigi was like, nah man, I'm 4 year old, I'm ready to drive the cart. So he was already participating in karting tournaments. You could say he had a need for speed, no pun intended. He always wanted to go faster and faster. And since he was not afraid of anything and his brother Mario was more of a crybaby, well Luigi always was in the shadow of his older brother. People were paying more attention to Mario, which required more attention because, you know, he's crying and everything, while Luigi was left to take care of himself alone. And this led him to always want to outperform his brother, to become the best of the two. His confidence would let him to go to college with all of the money he earned by doing a couple of side jobs growing up. Luigi wanted to become a doctor. It was his dream job. Alas, it wouldn't be so simple. During his classes, he met a girl named Peach, who had a best friend named Daisy, and the three became the best of friends. But deep inside him, Luigi had a crush for Peach. Sadly, as confident as he may have been when he was younger, Luigi did not really know how to talk to girls and stuff. So one day his brother Mario split up with his girlfriend at the time, Pauline, and was really depressed. Luigi, being the good brother that he is and always was, invited Mario to enjoy spring break with him and Peach. The two of them were going to a place called Dinosaur Island together to chill and hang out, and I would lie if I said Luigi did not plan to make a move on Peach. But this act of goodness with Mario would quickly backfire, as Peach and Mario started hanging out a lot during that trip on Dinosaur Island, and Luigi was kind of left alone most of the time, and had to walk around by himself. This was truly a shocking and difficult moment for Luigi. His confidence was shattered and was no longer the confident brother. He wanted this thing with Peach to work so bad, but also wanted to make things right with Mario. And then all of a sudden, Mario and Peach? This was really tough for him. Mario and Peach started dating during that time, which led to Luigi feeling alone. He had to get his mind off Peach, so he started doing a lot of sports to get his mind away from his failed love story. He wanted to regain the confidence he had as a kid, so he got back into karting, but also started enjoying multiple sports like tennis, golf and snowboard. These things made him slowly forget about Peach, and he, once again, started focusing more and more on bettering himself. This was a good moment in Luigi's life. College was going A-OK, -okay. he got over Peach, and he even started going out with a girl named Daisy. Luigi and her had a lot of things in common. They shared their passion with karting, they both enjoyed many sports like tennis, golf, which eventually led to them dating. Heck, Luigi even went to Daisy's own kingdom, Saraselen. There, Luigi realized that Daisy was the princess of that kingdom and could have pretty much anything she wanted there. 
Luigi never really was a gold digger or anything, but I'm just going to say he actually did not mind her being so rich. Daisy was madly in love with Luigi, she even built a statue of them on her very own private karting circuit. She definitely saw herself spend her entire life with Luigi, it was a dream come true for her. The thing is, Luigi had a deep and dark secret he was hiding from Daisy. Luigi never truly got over Peach, he still loved her secretly. In a way, he was just dating Daisy because he needed the confidence boost and the experience to become confident with girls. I know, I know this is truly disgusting and should never be done, but I mean, he did it, it was the truth. I'm not gonna lie, when Mario and Peach broke up, it was Luigi's cue to finally end it all with Daisy. He knew this was destiny. Plus, Daisy's obsession with Luigi grew a little bit too fast for his taste. Remember the statue of Daisy and Luigi? Well, she built another statue of their upcoming babies they would have if they stayed together. Uh, this creeped Luigi a little bit and he wasn't ready to have babies yet, especially not with Daisy. He decided to break up with her and leave Saracelan to go to the Mushroom Kingdom with Princess Peach. Daisy stayed in Saracelan, alone, heartbroken and completely shattered. This was a really sad story to be honest, but hey, we're talking about Luigi, so who cares about Daisy? Back in the Mushroom Kingdom, Peach and Luigi became closer and closer. Luigi truly felt like they were even closer than they were back in college. Peach had an history of being captured by Bowser, but Luigi was always there to save her. He truly felt like all those years of training and working out paid out well, as he was really good at rescuing her to be fair. The two eventually started dating. This new relationship lasted about two days. Yep, they really were not compatible at all with each other, they really had nothing in common. In fact, Luigi realized that leaving Daisy might have been a mistake the day he kissed Peach, and at that same time, Peach realized that leaving Mario had been a mistake too. You see how everything was messed up at that time, and I did not even mention the fact that Mario and Daisy hooked up while Mario was broken up with Peach, yeah, those love stories are really getting complicated. And they got even more complicated, as during the latest adventure, Bowser actually captured Princess Peach and brought her in space. And this is where Luigi fell in love with the space girl named Rosalina. She kinda looks like Peach, which might be why Luigi had a crush on her instantly. As she was from another universe, dating her was kind of complicated, but the two managed to make it work. Luigi introduced Rosalina to the eating habits of the Mushroom Kingdom, picking up fruits with her, then cooking some delicious meals, they even had their crazy moments where they just had fun and did stupid things. This was a true love story, and for the first time, Luigi actually felt like he could be himself and not change a thing and everything was going to be okay. One day though, Princess Peach called Luigi and told him that Mario was missing. This was not common, as the only time Mario truly disappeared for a while was after he broke up with Peach a long time ago. The only hint that they had was a map of a manor. Luigi followed the map and ended up in a haunted house filled with ghosts of all sort. Luigi met a little scientist named Egad, who explained that his brother Mario had been captured by the evil King Boo. The scientist gave Luigi a ghost vacuum and made Luigi go through many rooms to eventually rescue him. This was one heck of an adventure, but as scary as this might be, Luigi persevered and did it for his brother. This is what you do when you're a good guy like Luigi. I guess Mario being with Princess Peach again had some repercussion on him as he got captured a second time, once again by King Boo, and that forced Luigi to explore more haunted houses and castles to once again rescue him. And heck, after that, Mario got himself captured by Bowser himself, which forced Luigi to go all around the world just to rescue him. Mario's lucky that Luigi's not holding any hard feelings of that time with Peach on Dino Island. 
Anyways, in those times of peace, Luigi and Rosalina were traveling the world together. As Rosalina can fly and not Luigi, they had to improvise a little bit to make Luigi able to follow her in her space adventures. Luigi and Rosalina's relationship was going great and she pushed him to finish his college classes to finally become a doctor, which remember always was Luigi's dream. With the help of a loving and encouraging girlfriend like this, Luigi felt invincible. He eventually graduated and became Dr. Luigi and still to this day lives with Rosalina, traveling space in search of making the world a better place. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to catch up on this whole universe I'm creating, make sure to check out the Mario and Yoshi stories by tapping the cards on screen right now. So tell me, whose story do you want to hear next? I want to know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one.